Hello again friends. This time we're gonna do some air pieces to go with this dress that I made in the last video. Uh, in the magazine, they show this one and like it's cute but I want something else. So, some time ago I made some sketches. An old school headdress and some bows to put on my hair. And I think I'm gonna go with this. The only problem is that I don't have enough of this lace to go around the headdress. That's what I wanted to use, but I don't have enough. It's really nice quality. Yes, Kitty. Yes. You're really nice too. I'm gonna use one of these lace. I mean, I also don't have this, but I'm gonna use this one that is quite similar. I have actually three sizes of the headband. I have this one that is larger, uh, also with the rectangle ends instead of round. And <laughs> anyways, I think I'm gonna go with this one and use this lace around and with the scalloped one inside so I can make like with a ribbon like a corset lacing or something else. the bow almost ready. First I was thinking of making two bows but now I just end up making one. Maybe I will do another one next but this is the bottom. I will fold it like this and the top part will also be like this and then I'll seal them together and then I'll have another bow. Oh yeah but this one will be like this. So it will look a bit like this, but with the cute lace on top.
now I'm gonna start working on the headdress. Uh, I forgot to film it, but I go on some interfacing. I run on interfacing. It's just a really thin layer, just to give it some structure. And now I will see on top the same lace as this one facing the inside so I can then do the corset placing uh, the lacing and then I will gather the other lace to go around and sew it together and then in the end I will make some bows or I think I already bought some bows but I don't know if they will be good for this There's a slight change of plans today. I started making the rectangular dresser and then I hated it because this lace looks really cute when it's like this but it's really small so it should be wider to look good and I don't think it will look good. Also this thing that was supposed to sit like this and it won't. Because I have to turn it. So yeah, this lace. If it was this one, that was the one of the dress, it would be a bit wider. Or I would l really love if I could have used this one. I think it will, would look just beautiful. And I don't like the idea of sewing this on top. I think it doesn't look good if I show this part. So what I'm gonna do, I mean what I'm doing now, is I'm gonna do this and I have to think, probably we'll do um, another ribbon, another uh, bow, I think I'll probably do another bow, a head bow, but once again I don't have an headband because my order didn't arrive, I think someone lost it. Can I can I work again? No. Can I can I can I can I not? Mm. 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 Look at the fur. This is a problem. Look, why do you have so much fur? Why? <laughs> just this and I thought that it looked a little bit bare so I'm gonna use this lace I couldn't just undo it and sew it again but I'm a bit lazy right now so I'm just gonna use this lace that I also used on the skirts fold the ends and sew right at the center so it will have a little bit of detail when I do the folds and to have the, the ribbon here. I think it will look quite pretty like this. Yes, it will be easier to see on the other side, but well, it will work.
can use also this one to pass the white ribbon through it it's really pretty and I have a lot of this one <laughs> someone is mad <laughs> someone really is mad All the fur. This is a problem. <gasps> yes, are we gonna leave? Please let me go. No. <laughs> Please let me go. Thank you. Mm. 